So as I promised you, here is the video when I crashed my drone into a Norwegian fjord. A DJI Mini 3 Pro. And you can almost say that this video started about 4-5 or five months ago when I was in Norway the last time. And I drove along the same Hardanger fjord on the same road. And I parked my car along the way there. And I saw on the other side a little opening. And there was these beautiful old farmhouses, totally isolated. And I was like stunned how beautiful it was. But I didn't dare to take my drone over since I had a lot of footage that I had not been able to download to my computer by then. But this time um, it was the end of my journey to Norway this time. So I decided to gamble a bit. And um, I got a lot of strong wind warnings as you can see, but I wasn't too concerned about that since I live on the west coast of Sweden and this is very windy here and I almost get these warnings all the time. I also uh, did look at the battery level and that I didn't feel that it was going down that fast, but now when I look what I should have looked at was the estimated time that was remaining because that was going down fast as you can see here and actually I didn't <laughs> even reach the houses because they were above the level I could reach with my drone it uh, maxed out even if I still was below the houses which felt a little bit strange but yeah that's that's how, to, that's how it was so I have, I have never flown this far away before, and never this high before. Uh, the level of how high you can go is depending on your starting point. So if I had started at uh, a higher altitude, uh, this would not have been a problem. As you can see, I have to tilt the camera up and then use the zoom function to get a little better view. And if you wonder how this video did get back this is actually the live uh, video i see on the my uh, remote control it uh, it saves yeah now i'm getting now this is the first time it's actually getting a bad uh, connection but uh, still the image is perfect and uh, yeah but this is the video going back and I am uh, re recording it live down to the controller which you are able to do. I must say DJI does some incredible stuff. I was so happy with this uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro. If you are considering to get one, I really... This is a great um, beginner drone, it's small, easy to to just carry with you when you travel or stuff like that and here you can see the amazing view and I'm starting to head back and I have 66% battery left and now it says 26 minutes remaining and I'm uh, I think I got into sport mode going back it said normal mode yep uh, and top that sport mode uh, which also could have been a mistake but the speed I was getting back was just terribly low you can see now here at 10 meters per second but it's that will go down 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 so I was I, I, and here <laughs> here is a warning this is when I start to understand that yep yeah, I really do have a problem with the wind. There are no big waves, but um, still, now you can see it. speed is down at four point, uh, well, about five, po uh, five meters per second. And I was going out doing about 15 meters per second. So that's gonna be a problem. And uh, this is when I start to realize 
hmm I might be in some problems here so I started to try different altitudes I tried to stop the drone stop the drone and then start going again to see if it somehow neutralized its position uh, I think you will see the drone going to about zero meters per second but nothing really helped there was only one thing that helped you can see I'm there is the camera going level again at this time I'm going to back to the starting point and I'm still in manual mode the only thing that actually helped you see now down to three meters 3.5 the only thing that helped was when I turned a little bit to my right that's the only thing that got me up into sp uh, got the speed up a little bit higher and you will see me doing that a little bit later on <laughs> so you can see battery and estimated remaining flight time left is just plummeting and even if it does that I um, I don't seem to get anywhere when I have uh, done some re research about this after this incident I realized that maybe it would have been better here to actually go into return home mode and let the drone fly itself home if I have understand things correctly it will do it in a more um, efficient way and uh, be a little bit um, easier on the battery so looking at the waves I don't feel that they are that terrible I have flown in much worse conditions at least what I thought was worse conditions but this is a fjord so maybe you can get tricked uh, my guess is that the wind can get uh, pushed in and became, become very narrow and gain speed between uh, the mountains and maybe a bit higher up so and also I was standing behind the mountain and didn't feel anything so that was probably one uh, <laughs> mistake number two not considering where the drone was and where I was standing and that it could be that big of a difference uh, since where I usually flow, fly we don't have these uh, enormous mountains <laughs> uh, and I have been flowing drones uh, for some while I almost uh, well I, I did build my own drone a few years back or many years back now that was a beast and very complicated to take out and fly but I get my guess is it was not that, uh, that sensitive to wind as uh, this little uh, DJI mini is but small drone has its uh, pros and cons and here I can show you uh, a little map you can see it was pretty much a straight line out but uh, going back I started to deviate uh, trying to go a little bit more with the wind just to just to get a drone across and try to pick it up later but <laughs> As you will see, also that failed. Like, yeah, and and another low battery landing warning, critical low battery. This is the first time I I ever re received this one because by now, usually I'm down on the ground in one piece, and also it. <laughs> It really, it's uh, as you can see, forced landing in progress. So I had to actually use my stick to just keep it 
out of the water and force it not to go down. And all of a sudden we are down at like 6% battery and one minute remaining uh, flight time and uh, well this is desperate times. <laughs> Jag styr inte som jag vill! By now, I had given up. Be because I didn't get anywhere. But then, I just did a little turn to the right. And all of a sudden I saw houses. And thought, wow, maybe, maybe I can make it anyway. And I started to gain some good speed. I was going, as you can see, 1.5 meters a second. 1% battery left, just seconds remaining, but this looks pretty good now. I'm only seconds away from actually landing just somewhere on end. Here you can see, image transmission signal may be blocked. And that was the last time that drone ever flew. And the, the, the first time it became a submersible, <laughs> an underwater drone instead. But unfortunately it was never designed to be that. Uh, so, yeah, that was the end of that one. And now the video is... Uh, fast forwarding with uh, eight times the speed and I am the little blue dot <laughs> running around uh, trying to find it uh, uh, as you can see it seems that according to the map it crashed over land but uh, I am standing right on the edge of the water and uh, my guess is the, the map uh, isn't just that accurate, so yep, yeah. so, so very close.